When you made that song, that was uh, I, I heard you say your brother uh, uh, had he just passed when you did the, that first. One? My dog, yeah, yeah. My brother Eight Ball, we flipped five times in the car. Man. He flew out the windshield. I was in the back seat. I just wanna blow another drink with my dog, and I just wanna sit and talk some shit with my dog. And and, and that's what tripped me out because God, He spared your life. But then your brother, did he have any kids? No, he was he was twenty nine. He about to be thirty that next month. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Let's uh let's talk about it, man. So I know you got plenty of questions. We waited for the Mo three questions with you. Like 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 you said that you cried off a of T Real song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 what tripped me out about this nigga. I said yeah. T Real come and he said I cried off that. Cause you gotta remember my partner Black had died. Man, we were just together the night before he died. Yeah. And so I got that phone call like at six o'clock in the morning, and then I was like, damn. Then when he made that song, like bro, just put me back in that same mode, like. Damn. Like, you just don't know what to do that time. Like, bro. That, when, I, so when, the, when I heard the song, I ain't listen no more to your song, bro. Wow. So I ain't no no more. more? No, because I felt it too much. I felt it too much. I'm like, bro, I can't listen no more, bro. Nigga, see how you can touch and people like, with music, every time man? I every time I listen, I get that same feeling. Like, every single time. The same so feeling it was hard on you when I told you you had to research TRL today? No, I had I, I ain't listen to that song, though. <laughs> <laughs> I put that song up the way because I already knew. I already knew. <laughs> cool. He'll be up here crying like hell. You don't cry, you just drop the tears out like, bro. They yeah. put you back in that mode so, like you got a south side. Yeah, so when you made that song, that was, uh, I, I heard you say your brother, uh, uh, had he just passed when you did the, that first one? My dog? Yeah. Yeah, my brother eight ball. We flipped five times in the car. Man. He flew out the windshield. I was in the back seat. I just want to blow another drink with my dog. And I just want to sit and talk some shit with my dog. And, and, and that's what tripped me out because God, he spared your life. But then your brother, did he have any kids? No, he was he was 29, he about to be 30 that next month. Probably like two weeks, he died two weeks before his birthday. Wow, and, then, and that, that that night, were y'all traveling because of music? Yeah, I actually had a show here in Dallas, and then I went to church that next morning with DJ Merck, and then I left here, we got in the wreck in Oklahoma City. Okay, okay, I know exactly where you at. On, on, on uh, headed 35? To, yeah, headed towards Kansas. Yeah, wow, man, that had to be tough, man. And that was your y'all had the same mom? No, mm -mm. just just it's, it's my dog. Just just a he brother. was my brother. At yeah, heart. yeah, yeah. I get it, man. man it's crazy time they black died on the motorcycle yeah, that, on the highway. Yeah, like man. they didn't get shot. It's crazy they didn't get shot. They died like on accidents. Yeah, that's what make you feel it more. Yeah, DRS uh, was on here, and uh, when he was on here, uh, the guy that sang uh, "My Homies." Mm -hmm. You know that the, the, uh, yeah. gangster lean. So the, the 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 relationship that you and uh, Mo Three built, we'll go to that. You know, um, how was it? Just because I never got to meet him, mm -hmm. but I everybody been on this show talking about it because I came out right, you know, kind of after that, you know, and I couldn't do this show without bringing his name of his legacy, the way he left this whole situation, yeah, musically. Him and C Struggs, R.I.P. to C Struggs too. Just certain Struggs, ones yeah. I gave them. Different people I've been trying to get on. I want to interview Mo Three Mom bad because I just want to just show a love, you know. Mm -hmm. But I know already how people be trying to come at people like that, and I'm, I don't want to be that guy, even if I could just do it behind the scene, you know. But Facts. it's just it's something about these people who paved the way for a lot of us to be even doing this. You know what I mean? The legacies that they left, the way that they paved, you know, the work that they done. It's more, yeah. but I'm just saying he one of those guys, man. His subject, people talk about him all the time, and, and and you know his family, man, his kids. Do you even do you know his kids or anything like no. that? No, me, me, me and Mo Three were friends, musically. Okay, musically. And, and I used to tour with them a lot. Um, I used to call him every other day, and just talk shit, and yeah. we used to clown each other all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's somebody I grew close with, being on the road a lot, and. Um, I never really came to Dallas and really hang out with him in Dallas. It was more of a on the road, hanging out all the time, uh, being in the studio. And he was with Boosie a lot. I was with Boosie a lot. It's somebody I really connected with. And I I really respond to real. He got a big heart, too. He do. When I was, remember I told you about my son, and I was, I didn't know about music, and I, it kind of messed my buzz up. Mo3 let me go on tour with him. Do song, he'll bring me out. He lent it a hand. I think he was turning the favor for what uh, the road did. Cause remember the road did him the same way. Yeah, he would come on. T. Red, bring your white ass out here and sing this song, me. Bring your fat ass out here and sing this song, man. Yeah, come on. That's him. 
I'm like, shit, I'm out here rocking. And it helped me out. Wow. It helped me out a lot doing yeah. tours when I'm like that. And I appreciate it every day that he was doing something like that. He might miss a show. I could send T-Rail down there. He, he mentioned my name. He wasn't scared to do songs with me. Matter of fact, I talked to him the day before he passed. Wow. He was going to the studio the day after. Um, the day after. He was supposed to go to the studio the next day. He was going to knock a feature for me. He, I finally sent him a song that was fast. He was like, bitch, you finally made some fast shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.